Welcome back to the show, everybody. This is the Shanky Sessions, the Liverpool podcast. We bring you on the upper tier. Head over to YouTube, smash that subscribe and bell notification button. This is Liverpool versus West Ham, your preview coming at you from Anfield, 5.30 Saturday evening, under the lights. No better setting to be as a football fan. Interesting game, this. Um, I think as Reds fans, we've had a brilliant week, haven't we? Securing the Carabao Cup beating Norwich in the FA Cup and securing a place in the quarter-final with a reasonably favourable draw against either Nottingham Forest or Huddersfield. Would have been nicer if it had been at home, but it's away. But I expect the boys to still get the job done. We also have nearly one foot in the quarter-final of the Champions League as well. But there's the little job of West Ham on Saturday evening, um, which could be iffy. We've seen the job they did at us down at the London Stadium. We know they're a tough nut to crack. Um, not going to be easy as previous opponents in the last couple of weeks. But nonetheless, I expect us to go out and do a professional job and keep the title race alive. And it's a real opportunity for us because it's it's one, I think, of three opportunities this month where we play before Man City to keep the pressure on. And we know that they're playing in the Manchester Derby on Sunday in the Super Sunday game at half four. Um, so if we could beat West Ham and mount a little bit of pressure on them, and maybe our, our arch rival United could maybe do us a favour and absolutely burst open the title race, which would be interesting. Um, not something that they would enjoy. I'm sure it's a double-edged sword for them at the moment if they win, they're in a top four race. Um, but they give us a great opportunity of winning the league. And if they lose, Man City go on and win the league. So either way for them, it's a it's a horrible situation for them to be in either way in terms of looking at the overall picture. Um, if we look at Klopp versus Moyes, the history that's there, obviously Moyes with a fantastic tenure at evidence of his history there. Um, plus the last time we played them down the London Stadium, they did a kind of a number on us. Albeit we'd made a few mistakes and we were a bit sloppy on the night. I know Alisson had a bit of a nightmare. Um, but we go, I mean, with, with West Ham, they're coming into the game, obviously, they had a really good win against Wolves. Um, a game that I thought would either be a draw or a Wolves win, um, because they looked a little bit fatigued, West Ham. Um, and I remember them coming off the pitch, they looked shattered, especially Antonio. Uh, they crashed out of the FA Cup during the week to Southampton, um, which won't have pleased Moyes at all, because I'm sure the FA Cup would be a a trophy he'd love to win with West Ham. And he's done a stellar job there at West Ham this season. They're banging a, tight, uh, a top four race. Um, so it should be interesting. If I sound a little bit bummed up, a little bit different tonight, folks, it's, I'm still really sick. Um, and I tested positive today. So uh, seven days of this now ahead of me. So I'll get through it though. Um, if you look at the current form at the moment with Liverpool, six wins in the league. In the last six games, um, absolutely brilliant form at the moment. I think it's come up to nearly a year since we lost in Anfield. Um, and absolutely bang in form at the moment and coming to a crescendo right at the right time in terms of the volume of players that we have available, um, the squad rotation um, and the ability to fight still on four fronts. Um, with West Ham, their, their league form at the moment is a little bit indifferent, it's a bit like Noah's Ark. Two losses, two wins and two draws. So it's hard to know which West Ham might rock up on Saturday evening, but they'll want to lay down a marker as well in terms of that top four race. If we go into the team news, Roberto Firmino remains out. Um, Thiago is also um, out, um, but they're hoping to have him back potentially for the Inter Milan game. And we hear today that Joel Matip as well is uh, suffering from an illness, but Klopp confirmed in the press conference that it's not COVID. Um, so we wish him well in the speedy recovery. Matip, who's been outstanding this season, I don't think he's ever played as much fo football, so it's brilliant the way the, the sports science team at Liverpool are figuring that out as well, so it's uh, fantastic to see Joel getting a good run there. Um, Jordan Henderson was able to complete 60 minutes on uh, Wednesday after starting at Wembley, uh, but Kate is on hand if he needs to deputise, given Klopp an option. Um, he may... Um, decide to maybe rest him though. I'm not too sure with the Milan game on the horizon but I think this is a huge game as I said already on so many of these shows every game now is a cup final and you have to play your strongest side um, just to get the job done every single week I don't care how we win on Saturday just so long as we win and keep the toilet race alive um, we don't want a situation where we were to lose to West Ham and then United were to beat City and you know, we didn't take advantage of that situation, let's say. 
Uh, for West Ham, um, Thomas Suchek required stitches after an elbow from Diallo on Wednesday um, in the loss to Southampton, but they reckon he'll be okay. But they've uh, they've a quadruple kind of defensive absentees there with Kufal, Fredericks, Masuaku and Ogbonna are all missing at the moment. And they've given Yarmolenko time off, obviously with what's going on between Russia and the Ukraine. Um, it's only fitting that the guy gets some time off. Um, in terms of the lineups, um, Allison, Trent, Konate, Van Dijk, Robertson, Elliot, Fabinho, Keita, Salah, Mane, Diaz, um, is what I'm thinking. I no doubt Jota will be sprung from the bench. I would imagine. Um, but I'm liking that pairing of Kanate and Van Dijk at the moment. I think Kanate is getting better game after game after game, and certainly the heir to the throne for the Matip position. Um, I like that midfield as well there, Elliot Fabinho and Keita. Uh, nice bit of blend there of attack. Um, and of course, I'm really looking forward to seeing Diaz again. I get excited every game rolls around to see him play because as each game goes by, he gets better and better and better. And his introduction into the side has seemed seamless. In terms of West Ham starting lineup, Fabianski, Johnson, Dawson, Zuma, Cresswell, Rice, Suchek, Bone, Lanzini, Fornals, Antonio. Um, great attacking lineup there with Bone, Lanzini, Fornells, and Antonio. Um, the only one, I mean, Bone has had a fantastic season and he's, he's a, a player that our own team admire greatly. Um, in terms of Antonio, he did look shattered um, in the Wolves game and he has been out of sorts. He's nearly trying to fill that role of provider and scorer and it's, um, it's not reaping rewards. He seems to be in a situation where he's really trying to cross the ball to himself nearly, you know what I mean? And when he does pull out wide and pick up the ball, there's no one in the middle and stuff like that. Uh, Lanzini has shown a bit of form. Um, who's looked decent with Fornells as well. And I like that midfield, that Rice and Suchek midfield. Um, so we'll have to keep Rice quiet. Um, so that might take a bit of a doing with Fabinho in there and stuff like that. Um, in terms of the betting, I looked at the betting. Liverpool three to ten on very short odds. The draw is nine to two, and West Ham are fifteen to two, so just over seven and a half to one. Um, so the the bookies are favouring Liverpool big time, and rightly so with the run that they're on at moment at the moment, and especially at Anfield. Um, so it'll be really important that we lay down a marker. In terms of a prediction, I'm going to go for three one Liverpool. Um, I'd like to see the boy Diaz get a goal. Preferably in front of the cop, but we'll take it anywhere. Van Dijk with a header would be sublime as well. And I'd like to see Salah get on the score sheet. And I'd like to see Salah put one in against West Ham and, uh, you know, keep that golden boot rolling, basically. Um, but yeah, 3-1 Liverpool and heap the pressure back on Man City in terms of the title race. And then we can look towards um, the midweek game against Inter Milan and uh, finish off the job that we started there. Move into the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Um, but yeah, massive game and a game that we have to win. This has been your preview Liverpool versus West Ham coming at you Saturday evening, live from Anfield. If you want to contact the show, we're on Twitter at Session Shankly. You can contact the podcast, the Upper Tier Podcast at gmail.com. You'll also get us on Facebook and Instagram, the Upper Tier, and you'll get us out there on TikTok as well. You'll also have audio versions of the show on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, wherever you pick up audio versions of the sh of your shows, you will find us there. Just search the upper tier and you'll find the Shankly Sessions blended in there nicely. Um, and until next time, Reds, we will be back Saturday evening with a match reaction and player ratings and hopefully smiles on our faces as this title race and potentially historical season continues. Till next time, a pleasure, my friends. <laughs>